Today we're conducting a social experiment of a Muslim praying in an airport. We wanted to test how complete strangers would react to a Muslim praying next to them as they wait for their flight. Will these strangers be accommodating of a Muslim praying near them or will they become uncomfortable and walk away? Hi guys. Hi, is it, is it okay if I just pray in this area? Is, would it be okay if I prayed over here? Uh, what's your name by the way? Ben? Yeah. Ben, nice to meet you. I'm SQ. Ben, is it okay if I prayed over here? Is, is that okay? Yes. Oh, thank you so much. You're so sweet. Thank you. Let me look at, oh, thank you. Could you help? You can watch my bag. Okay. Don't run away with it. I know you don't want um, this. Do you mind watching my bag while I'm praying? Is that, is that okay? Okay. Is it okay? No, no, no. No, I don't need you to move. You're perfectly fine. You're perfectly fine. If you see something, say something. All right. <laughs> Allah. Damn, she walked away taking care of her child. Semi Allah, who do you mean? Allah, 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 Allahu Akbar Allahu Akbar Allahu Akbar Assalamu Alaikum Allah Assalamu Alaikum Allah Thank you so much man I appreciate it man Hey thank you so much you, you were just super comfortable with that. I appreciate it. Uh, how much do you know about the, the prayer? Oh, alhamdulillah, that's yeah. amazing, sister. Yeah. May Allah bless you. Thank you. Walaikum yeah. salam. That's, that's, that's amazing. Yeah. Thank you so yeah. much for accommodating yeah. me and make it easy for me. I really appreciate it. No, I mean, you know what? In the world that we live in sometimes, sometimes people like really judge a person, how they're dressed, how they're looked. And the fact that obviously you're a Muslim, but that's not the type of energy you showed anyways. And the fact that you help someone pray, you get the reward as well too, alhamdulillah. So may Allah reward you for that and help you, yes? I appreciate it. I hope you didn't get up because of me or anything like that. No, no I didn't want her uh, walking over and bothering you. Oh no, not at all. She would not be a bother at all. Have you ever seen someone pray before? Yeah. Really? You have Muslim friends? Huh? You have Muslim friends? I'm sure I do, but I don't think I just... There's, I don't know, I just, I know I've seen it. You have? Wow, that's amazing. Do you know how many times you pray a day? By the way, if you're wondering where we're going, we're actually traveling to Yemen so we can help feed Yemeni refugee families who've lost everything due to the war. So if you'd like to help feed them, it's only $1.50 a day to feed a family of seven. Link in the description to help Yemen. Uh, three? You know, I get that question, and Two? a lot of people say three. Okay, now you're lowering it, okay? It's a little higher. Oh. Take one more guess, final guess. This is for a billion dollars. Yes, it is. Five times we pray. Yes. Do you know what direction we pray in? Towards Mecca. Okay, I don't know who you are, but you've done some research over here. That's that's amazing. That's really amazing. Do you know like Muslims like believe in Jesus and stuff like that, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It's a misconception a lot of people have. What do you know about Islam? I I don't like subscribe to any particular religion. Okay. Religion, I'm just kind of open. Okay. Okay. So uh, you're open to anything, I see. That's amazing. That's beautiful. Just believe in being a good person. Absolutely. I don't believe in any coincidences. So even the fact that I'm praying here right now, it was a calling. It was something to happen, you know. And to meet a person like yourself who's so open about these things, it means a lot. Okay, yeah, thank you. You know. yeah, no, because you know, there's so much Islamophobia these days where people are afraid of Muslims and especially being in an airport, you know, uh, that sometimes people might feel uncomfortable if someone is praying, you know, but, uh, but you're, you're not that way and we appreciate that. Thank you. What's your name? Lauren. Lauren, nice to meet you. My name is SQ. Nice to meet you. Yeah, and I, and I pray that the Almighty blesses you and guides you and blesses your beautiful child as well. Okay. Trip. Same to you. Okay. Do you know where Jenna is? I'm trying to get to the gates of Jenna. I have no idea. No clue where Jenna is. <sighs> okay. Well, if you find Jenna, let me know. Okay. Thank you. Have you ever seen someone pray before? 
Well, um, I'm from a different religion. I'm Seventh Seventh-day Adventist, but we pray, you know, we pray like this. But, you know, people have their religion, yes. they pray. But from you pray to the Almighty God. Yes, the one true God. Yes, the one true God only, right? I, I, I respect you saying that. You know, one thing is when we pray to God, right? A lot of people close their hands, yeah, right? Close their hands, yeah. right? Sometimes, like, sometimes we will... You get on your knees? Pray, you know? Yeah, you pray. So you would get on your knees and you would pray. Pray for health. Pray, pray for, for health. Family. Wow. Pray for, you know, That's amazing. Good health. Pray for your Did you know that when... Blessings. Yes. Did you know that when Jesus, peace and blessings be upon him, prayed in the Garden of Gethsemane, yeah. right? He got to his knees yes. and he put his head to the ground. Yeah. True? Yeah. Right? Who prays like that? Muslims pray like that, right? And you know, when we ask God, in Islam we're taught that when we ask God, we don't close our hands. We open them. Because you see, then when we want God to give us something, we want to receive it. Yeah. And the only way you receive is when the hands are open, not when they're closed, right? And when Jesus is praying, the hands are open, not closed. You understand? When we pray, we're receiving and we're showing God that we're poor. Yeah. You understand? Yeah, yeah. We're poor. Yeah. We don't have and He has everything. You get what I'm saying? He was made himself poor just to be in the, to be like human, mm -hmm. to see, just, just, just to let us know that mm -hmm. he go through suffering. Uh -huh. We also have to go through suffering. Yes. So you're saying that? So do you believe Jesus was God, or do you believe he was someone sent by God? Well, Jesus in himself is 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 the 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 Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Okay. And he, the, the, Jesus is God himself. He's okay. God sent. I'm son here. I'm gotcha. Her. Gotcha. You know, to, to save the world. Uh huh. Can, can I ask you then, so, so you could help me out with this because I'm not familiar with this, right? Um, ben, if God is a human being, right, that means God has desires of a human being. He needs to sleep, he needs to eat, he needs to use the bathroom, right? I. I don't know, but I don't think God should need to use the bathroom. Do you get what I mean? He's a, he's a supreme being. God yes. Himself. God himself is a supreme being, right? So he sent his son here to die mm -hmm. for our sin mm -hmm. so that we can be saved. Can I ask you? Can I, okay, that's fine. Can I ask you a clarifying question? Man? Just, just so I understand better, right? Mm -hmm. just, just quickly. Does God, He's the most forgiving, do you agree? God is the most forgiving. You turn to God directly, you cry to God directly, you put your head down to God, He hears you, right? You, we believe that, yeah, right? Believe that. If you made a mistake and you asked God for forgiveness directly, mm -hmm. will He forgive you, yes or yeah. no? Okay, good. So does someone need to come over here and be sacrificed for you to be forgiven? Is that what you're saying? No, what I'm saying that, um, yeah, well, yeah, you have a son, the son is yeah, Jesus, yeah. You see, my friend Ben, Jesus, peace and blessings be upon him, never claimed to be God, nor did he ever claim any of this divinity stuff. This is stuff that people added to him later on. Jesus, peace and blessings be upon him, Ben, is a messenger of God. Ben eventually starts questioning his misunderstandings about God, and you don't want to miss this conversation. But, while trying to run this social experiment, this man stops us from praying in the airport. You want to pray? Yes. What time is your flight? Because we have masjid upstairs. If you, you, ha better. you have a masjid upstairs? Yes. Subhanallah. Yeah. Subhanallah. And what will they say? Will they say this prayer no, room or that's something? That's a masjid. That's a masjid. That's an old chapel. It's a chapel. Everybody will know one. What's your name? Hamadou. Amadou, may yeah. Allah reward you, Amadou. Okay. May Allah bless right. you for that. You Thank get, you so you much. I appreciate that. Okay. Wow, You're amazing. Okay. Uh, just so yes, many man. nice people. Thank you. Thank you. Hey guys, thank you so much. I appreciate. I appreciate. Uh, have you ever like seen someone pray before? Do you know what that is? Do you have Muslim friends, or how do you know? Uh, no, uh, I used to travel a lot for work. Uh, okay. So certain times I would see people uh, with, uh, they would uh, that's what, facing the west typically right yes to the towards the Mecca do you know yeah, Mecca yeah the Kaaba the first house of God established here yes that's over is it Jerusalem no no it's in Mecca Mecca Saudi Arabia Mecca okay. yeah the city of Mecca uh, you know the you know the black box are you familiar with that? it's like a yes. cube mm -hmm. it's like a cu black cube mm -hmm. right do you know anything about it mm. you guys are so knowledgeable already so I'm shocked I, I I've seen some stuff more 
more about like the rituals that when people go there, uh -huh. some of the things that they have to do. Yes. Uh, whether it's uh, cleaning their body, shaving their head. Yes. Uh, That's that? what I had to do. I had to shave my head as well too. Like when you go over there, it's part of the pilgrimage. Mm -hmm. It's a part of the pilgrimage. So and the, everybody has to go there at least once. Or at least ideally, once. ideally, that's the intention always, right? So that black cube, right, which is called the Kaaba, right? Try to say it with me, Kaaba. Kaaba. Kaaba, you said it wonderful, right? <laughs> that is actually the first house of God established here on earth. So when Adam was sent to earth, right, after, okay. after he got released from the heavens to earth, the first house of God that was established was the Kaaba, right? Now, after that, the foundations eventually eroded and then God sent Abraham, you know Abraham, mm -hmm. the prophet Abraham and his son Ismail, Ishmael, and they both erected the structure that we have today. Okay. So Adam st established the foundation and then Abraham established the full structure that we have today. So yeah, so like when we go over there, we do the, the routine and the ritual. Mm -hmm. It's because this is what the Prophet Muhammad taught to us, right? Okay. And uh, Prophet Muhammad, you've heard of this name before? Mm -hmm. Yes? Uh, yeah. he, he's a messenger just like Jesus, just like Moses, just like Abraham. Mm -hmm. And he's the final messenger of God that we follow. And, and Islam is unique because we believe in all the messengers of God. Mm -hmm. Unlike some, you know, some people who put distinguishing, we don't. We believe in all of them. And I was just about to pray. And, and you know how many times Muslims pray a day? Uh, is it three? You're close. Four. Come on. He got it. I know you got the answer. You got the answer. What is it? <laughs> you got it. It's five times. We got three, four, five. Yes. Five times a day. And the reward is immense. So we pray in a direction towards Mecca. No matter where you are, we all align in that direction and we pray. And uh, it's to put away any type of differences. So no matter where you are, we go shoulder to shoulder and we pray in that once, uh, one energy, one direction as well. So that's what I was about to do. But he told me that there's a mosque over here. So we'll that's go over awesome. there instead. What's even more awesome, is that to say, is that you guys are truly awesome because I'm, I'm actually a YouTuber and uh, we're actually filming a social experiment right now and you guys are on it. Oh, really? Yes, there's cameras everywhere. Those cameras belong to us. No, I'm joking with you. I'm joking. <laughs> guys, listen, have a beautiful rest of your day, okay? And take care of yourselves, okay? God bless you guys. Take care. And now we're off to Yemen to help feed Yemeni refugees who've lost everything in war. So if you'd like to help feed the Yemeni refugees, it's only $1.50 to feed a family of seven per day. So click the link below and let's save the Ummah together. And until next time, I'm out.